An effective instructional strategy for reading comprehension is reciprocal teaching. Reciprocal teaching is when students play a part in the teaching of a lesson and the delivery of the material. To start with reciprocal teaching, your students must first have practice clarifying, predicting, questioning, and summarizing. To clarify, students gain a deeper knowledge of things from the passage that they don't understand or know. To predict, students indicate what they think will happen in the passage. They may draw from prior knowledge or context clues. To question, students generate and answer questions about the facts, concepts, and meaning of the passage. To summarize, students tell the main idea of a passage in just a few sentences. Before you expect students to complete these components, you as a teacher may want to model what these components look like in action with a short passage. But beyond that, how you use these components of reciprocal teaching is really up to you. However, you will want to ensure that the students are doing the work of clarifying, predicting, questioning, and summarizing at some point during the lesson. Here are a few reciprocal teaching lesson ideas. Begin the lesson with revealing the title and first few sentences of the passage to students and let them guess what the story is about and how it will go. Discuss the context clues and prior knowledge that some students may have that lead them to the predictions they make. This is the predicting component. Then start a vocabulary activity in which students learn words that you think they may not be familiar with. Do this as a small group activity and have them share to teach each other. This is the clarifying component. Students clarify the meaning of words before ever seeing the passage. Next, read the story together as a class and have students create questions for one another to answer about the passage. This is the questioning component. Finally, have students work individually to compose summaries of the passage. This is the summarizing component. Here's another way you could use reciprocal teaching. Begin by dividing your class into groups of four. Each student starts with one role in their group, questioner, clarifier, summarizer, and predictor. Divide the passage into chunks. The groups read through the passage one chunk at a time, allowing each student to step into their role in examining the passage and sharing with the rest of the group. The roles then rotate to the left after each chunk of the passage and its subsequent discussion. A final way you could use reciprocal teaching is by facilitating a student-led lesson on the passage. As you read the passage, students lead the whole class in discussion, and maybe even activities, with predictions, clarifications, questions, and summaries. Students might lead like this in groups or as individuals. However you decide to use it, reciprocal teaching is a powerful instructional strategy that equips students with tools for deep comprehension of material.